If you like the new intro, smash that like button and drop a comment. Your feedback will be greatly appreciated. As always, I am the Colonialist and you're joining me with Queen Phoenicia, the Messor Arenarius, which was donated to the channel by Jack. Thank you so much. You're an absolute legend. I can't stop saying it. That is not what the episode is about today. Of course, today we're actually talking about the ant keeping taboo, which started for me, if any of you know, with a Mesor Barbarous Queen, which is not native to the UK. Originally, like many of you and other popular ant keepers on YouTube, I had the mantra of staying team native and I had started collecting native species such as Myrmica rubra and Lazius niger which are native to the UK. I found myself in a moral predicament because here I am with an exotic species of ant and I've started keeping them in the UK and this was the first step to a journey for me which actually led me to becoming a content creator and bringing you these videos. In the footage right now, you can see my Camponotus japonicus queen, her massive pile of brood and a few of her workers. Quite simply, once I got a taste of exotic ant keeping, I developed what I now call or have coined as AKD, ant keeping disorder. However, I would like to state this by no means means that I am irresponsible because I do a lot of planning before I purchase an exotic species. I do a lot of research into their care and I also make sure that I have the finances available to me to care for them over the lifetime that I would have to care for them. Now, I can't see anything in the foreseeable future that would mean i will be unable to care for them. I know that I can financially commit to their care and requirements. I used to breed and keep various reptiles and invertebrates. So it's a cost that I'm used to spending it out on. And it's something that I have quite a lot of experience in. And I love coming into the ant keeping world from the reptile and the invertebrate world because you think it's so easy and you think it's going to be like the reptiles, but it's completely different. And even to what affects the ants is down to the minute microclimate and genuinely even hourly by hourly care sometimes if there's something going wrong with the species. Like right now, I'm actually dealing with a phoretic mite infestation with my new Karabara affinis colony, which I'll go into later on. I've had quite a lot of stuff going on in my life at the moment. I've got my son who's about to be born, um, my daughter, it's about to be her birthday next week. So I'm taking things in my stride, which is why I've been a bit delayed in getting new videos. And I want to keep you guys updated and let you know that I still do plan to do more of stuff like this. Product reviews and competitions, what more could you ask for? Special thanks to all the retailers that helped me out in bringing you these, these competitions. Uh, another major change is I have been setting up the brand new ant shelves. So this is them at various different stages. Please don't pay attention to where things are situated because they're actually being sort of shuffled around and slotted into where I can fit them. I have quite a few colonies now and as you may have just noticed that was Solanopsis geminata and Fidole pallidula. So another reason to pay attention because there are going to be various species introductions to the channel for all you to enjoy the content of. I also have a whole new playlist and series planned where I have teamed up with one of the retailers I work closely with, which is Ant Davy, so keep an eye out for that. And this actually brings us up to date with all the news on the channel. Let's get back to discussing the taboo subject, which is native ant keeping versus exotic ant keeping. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I'll be interested to see your personal stance on it. Is it something that you agree with, disagree with, and your reasons. Now I understand in many countries there are laws that define this and in the UK we have quite relaxed laws 
so are able to keep various exotic species and it's not against the law. Please abide by your local laws because I do not condone breaking those laws. You must be a law-abiding citizen and a law-abiding handkeeper. Also, please don't start keeping exotic ants if you have never kept ants before. Stick to the native species, understand what ant keeping is about, gain some experience, be in the hobby for a few years, and then possibly make the decision to move into the exotic ant keeping world. Above all, please make sure that you have the financial abilities to keep up with the commitments. When you have exotic species, often this means, you know, thermostats, heat cables, electricity bills, uh, food sources, just things that you may have to consider that you wouldn't necessarily consider keeping a native species, which obviously keeps the cost down when you don't have to heat the species or provide any specialist care. Research, research, research. Do not be afraid to ask the community questions. They are fantastic at getting back to you. Of course, there's always gonna be some numpties in the crowd, but don't pay attention to them because the ant keeping community is actually a fantastic community to be a part of. And I'm really privileged to be a part of the community. If you're new to ant keeping and you're not quite sure how to do this, it's quite simple. If you have a Facebook page, simply just search up ant groups on Facebook. You've got the UK Ant Keepers group, the Ant Canada fan page, a group about ants, Ant Keeping International. There's literally hundreds of different groups. I apologize if I haven't mentioned them. Most of them are absolutely fantastic with really good communities. So don't be afraid to ask questions because most people are happy to help you out and guide you into your journey of ant keeping. As always, you can just drop a comment, send me a message, drop me a message on my Facebook page or on my Instagram or any of the social medias or even on my blog site, which is www.thecolonialist.co.uk. So I will apologize right now. I know I've used a lot of old footage in this clip and I know that I've used some footage that people haven't seen before. So I hope that you've enjoyed the snippets that are in there. And again, I'm looking forward to having a discussion with you all. If you're a YouTuber, a blogger, feel free to contact me because maybe you could set up a video and we could fire questions back and forth. Or even if you're just a community member, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of the ant keeping taboo. Is it such a big thing? What's your thoughts on exotics? Are you just team native? Uh, do you stick with the popular ant YouTube keepers and sort of their mantra and stance on it? Um, yeah, let me know because I, I'm really interested to know and hear your thoughts on it all. So this actually does bring me to the end of the episode, otherwise I will probably be rambling on all day long. I hope you enjoy the episode, it's quite a long episode. And yeah, as I said, uh, drop a like, subscribe, hit the comments. I try not to say that in my videos because I find it kind of annoying and I'm sure many people do too, but it really does help me out if you do so. So thank you very much guys, I'll catch you next time.